In 2018, we introduced Hockey 2024, a global development strategy for hockey. We set some ambitious targets across four critical areas, participation, education, infrastructure, and inspiration. We and the five continental federations ask for your help in achieving these targets. Four years on, and despite the significant challenges we have all faced, the global hockey family has achieved a huge amount. Since 2018, the FIH has invested in excess of 4 million US dollars into development and education projects, both directly and via Continental Federation Solidarity Funding. Whilst today we are highlighting a direct action by the FIH, the incredible efforts and the achievements of our continental federations and national associations over the last four years deserves high commendation. At the last Congress, we reported surpassing our targets of 110,000 sticks through the Sticks for the World project. Well over 250,000 sticks have now been distributed via FIH, CF, NA and private projects. Start Hockey Match Funding Programme for NAs was launched this year, with the first five projects to be announced shortly after Congress. Projects receive support in the form of experts, equipment and education, specifically targeting initiation of new hockey activity for young children. The Para Hockey ID Development Programme is welcoming more and more new nations in each continent in the build-up to the Special Olympics Berlin 2023. Yeah, these are exciting times for Hockey ID because we continue to grow. We have 15 nations preparing to join the Special Olympics World Games in June in Berlin 2023. And we're very busy preparing for that event with the Special Olympics International Team, the local organising committee, and indeed each nation taking part. Uh, we're pleased to train up leaders from Malawi, Zambia and Uganda during the recent uh, Amsterdam Champ the Continental Championships. And we really hope that many nations will join the Hockey ID family in 2023 and get inspiration from this part of our society. This section of society often feels excluded and the hockey federations can play an important part an important role welcoming them to our family. Take up the challenge and do it. You'll bring a lot of joy to many players and many families. Hello, my name is Ben. I love hockey, it's fun. I've made lots of new friends. I've learned to work as part of a team got to play important games for my country and I won the medal, yay! FIH World Hockey Camps welcome an excess of 2,000 plus young people from over 20 nations in 6 countries Five hundred and thirty-two courses and workshops were delivered by the FIH Academy, including a return to face-to-face -face programs. Over eight thousand one hundred and twenty-eight individuals have accessed FIH education since the launch of Hockey 2024. The new FIH Academy platform will be launched in December with brand new e-learning program across all hockey functional areas. This platform will have the capacity for CFs and NAs to share and promote their own programs 
under a white label function. Participation impact from education estimated in 1.9 million individuals since January 2021. The FIH Academy Athlete to Coach Programme and Young Athlete Programme supporting current and next generation of elite athletes. The new FIH Academy 2.0 platform will include an extensive range of tools and education for athletes in partnership with the IOC Athlete 365 program. Yeah, for me, uh, the FIH has been incredible. Uh, right from the beginning of my coaching journey, uh, making sure that I was being directed towards opportunities and um, resources that were going to help me with my coaching career and whether that be in actual coaching or also in coach education and it's basically given me the opportunity to really become a, a student of the game and a student of the career of coaching um, and the network that that has then put me in front of and put me in uh, as being incredible and invaluable. So engaging with the FIH Academy um, has been brilliant across all our layers. So it's given us the opportunity for our educators, our trainers and our coaches to be able to um, connect and collaborate internationally now. So the sharing of different ideas and experiences has been fantastic. Um, it's also just allowed us to, to be able to access more resources and opportunities as well. Um, and, and we're excited to be able to look at how we continue to grow that and integrate it into our, our local system here. The NA Development Series has delivered 22 editions across a wide range of subjects including club development, facility management, sustainability, player development and gender equality with an average of 60 national associations attending each session. We've been um, developing and designing hockey pitches um, since 1984, so we bring um, a lot of experience and understanding of hockey development, facility development and funding development. The benefit of the workshops we've run with yourselves is that it gives us an opportunity and a platform to engage with customers and national associations that we wouldn't otherwise have connections with and hopefully we can share best practice of what we're doing here in the UK with our customers and that will have some benefit to the customers um, and um, associations wider uh, around the world. Yeah, it was great. So the, the workshop I joined was the club development workshop and um, just a variety of people on that. So for example, we had Ahmed from Hong Kong who was trying to establish or improve his current hockey club with kind of limited resources and had some great ideas. Um, and then you had Ruth who, who was just starting out on her journey of creating a whole new hockey club. Um, so she was learning from that bit and there was good conversations going on. And then Gabrielle from the Netherlands, who has a lot of resources and a lot of experience and was kind of trying to show her side of it in terms of how you manage that. So there was something for everyone, I felt. Um, my role there was looking at how digital um, and uh, online can support uh, clubs that are just starting out or um, help uh, organisations like uh, that are in the Netherlands, how they can scale uh, with the numbers that they have. So I felt like it was a really well balanced um, uh, conversation. State of the Game Survey 2022 opened to analyse the growth of hockey and the impact of global pandemic on the game. Analysis and comparison with 2018 and 2021 to be shared shortly after Congress. We currently have reports from 71 national associations. It all begins with understanding the demographics of your participation, who's playing, where they're starting, whether they're coming in and out of different age groups, and therefore you can focus the strategic direction and development um, accordingly to what that information provides us. Comparing with a, a larger country, how, how we're growing, and whether that growth is comparative yeah, to, 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 to what they're doing uh, in relation to the competitions that they have and the distractions that they have for young athletes. Yeah, that, that, that would be very important, very useful yeah, for us. Hockey Fives is a key strategic vehicle to enable hockey competition to be played in more places and without the need for expensive infrastructure been a major focus and has had a significant impact across the globe. 
most notably in Oceania, Africa and South America. More on Hockey Fives will follow this section. Uh, with Hockey Dreams Foundation, we use hockey as a tool. Coaches learn on and around the pitch by organizing camps and tournaments. Uh, and we also provide them with scholarships. This way, they make a positive impact in their community while developing themselves and learning how they can be a game changer. We have many ambitions uh, for our current communities to run and be empowered. Uh, and maybe in the near future, get new communities. Um, so please get in touch. Uh, if you want to be linked to any international uh, hockey development projects, um, if you do any fundraising events, the contest now reached 2,000 kids. So uh, let's get that number up to five or 10,000. The 2021 Year of the Youth was a great catalyst for development with over 50 new projects from 27 plus nations participating. A highlight of the year was the Year of the Youth Huddle in September 2021, where we were joined by a host of outstanding guests, together with 82 National Association representatives. Hockey 2024 had clear sustainable development project objectives when launched. These will carry through to specific elements of the new FIH sustainability strategy. As an international federation, we have continued engagement with IOC Olympic Solidarity and Women in Sport Commissions, GAFE's membership and ASWAF ASDEG through representation and participation. Once again, we'd like to take this opportunity to thank all FIH, CF and NA colleagues, volunteers, the FIH Academy workforce and our partners Not Sport and Coach Logic for their commitment to the hockey family and to the growth of the sport we love. Thank you.